Hello, my name is Scott Hegley, and I'm with Hymns Inc., a company located in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to be talking about our new BrailleSense U2. It's a brand new note taker, it's a very fast note taker, it has a lot of storage internally, up to 32 gigs of storage. Its processing speed is very, very fast, so you'll notice, for example, if you unzip files or if you surf the web, you're going to see a big difference from previous note takers. Uh, the BrailleSense U2 even has built-in Bookshare uh, capabilities, meaning that I can use the unit to go to Bookshare, find a book, download it, unpack it, all in one or two keystrokes. It even has Google Maps on it, so if I'm on a Wi-Fi network, I can start Google Maps, I can actually put a route together, I can even take that route offline and use it when I travel from one place to another. It's also the wonderful note-taking device that hopefully you have grown to love in the past. It has 32 cells of Braille, it has a full keyboard, and it has many, many other features such as internet browsing and email access. But today, we're going to talk about how the BrailleSense U2 can be used as a Braille display for the iPhone. As we all know, the iPhone and the iPad and the iPod Touch have really made their way into blind and low vision societies because people can use them, voiceover works, and now you can have Braille to go along with that voiceover work that you're doing with your iPhone. First though, we need to tell the iPhone that the BrailleSense U2 is available as a Braille display. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the U2 is turned on, which it is. And I'm going to press the letter U for utilities. I'm then going to press the letter S for terminal screen reader mode. So I'm going to press S as in Sam. And the first item that pops up is Bluetooth serial port. I'm going to press enter on Bluetooth serial port. And the U2 said connecting terminal mode. On the U2 end, that's all I need to do is press that particular sequence of keystrokes and we're ready to go. So again, you're seeing terminal mode in Braille on the U2. I'm going to go ahead and place this back on the table and I'm going to use my iPhone and connect it with the U2. So the first thing that I need to do is find settings. And actually before I even do that, let me just remind you that you want to make sure that voiceover is turned on on your iPhone. To do that, you simply press three times the home button on the bottom portion of your iPhone. So that is done. That means that my voiceover is fully working. And I'm going to go into settings. Productivity folder, 11 App Store, settings. And I'm going to double tap on settings. Settings. The first thing I want to do in settings is I want to find general. And you'll notice that I was literally flicking on the screen until I found general, or I could have found general on my iPhone screen and double tapped on it. I'm going to double tap on general. General, settings, back button. The next thing I need to do is go into accessibility. It's near the bottom of the screen, so I'm going to take my four fingers and go to the bottom of the screen. Accessibility, international, accessibility. And there's the accessibility button, so I'm going to press enter on accessibility. accessibility. Back and luckily one of the first items under accessibility is voiceover. So I'm going to flick over to voiceover. Access voiceover on. Button. Voiceover on. Now you'll notice it said voiceover on. That's great. That simply means that voiceover is now working. And so now that it's working, I can double tap on it, and instead of turning it off, it will go into voiceover. So let's do that. So voiceover on. Button. Double tap on voiceover on. Voiceover. Accessibility. Back button. 
And there's a lot of good things under accessibility, but right now, or under in voiceover, but right now we need to find something called Braille. That happens to also be near the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to take my four fingers, Speak notifications in one screen. go to the very Don't bottom of the down. screen, and I'm going to flick left once. Navigate images. Language world order. Braille button. Okay, it was more than once. It was four or five times. But I now found the Braille button. I'm going to press double tap, actually. Braille. Voice over. Back button. And what's really neat here is I've already made the Braille Sense U2 as a discoverable item. So on my screen now, I should find the Braille Sense U2. Let's find out. Braille contracted eight dot Braille status cell. Up choose a Braille device. In progress. Braille Sense of 2040. Not paired. Button. And it said Braille Sense U2 2040. That's referring to the 40 cell U2 um, Braille display. I'm going to double tap on the button. In Braille Sense of 2040. Not paired. And it's saying not paired. It's warning me that the two are not paired yet. So I'm going to double tap, and it's going to ask me for a pin. I'm going to do 0, 0, 0, 0, and press the pair button. And there it is. The two are now connected. So not only do I have my iPhone working, but I have the Braille Sense U2 as a Braille display for the iPhone. So as I look at this Braille display, it says Braille Sense U2, and it lists the model number, and it says connecting. And that actually means it's connected. So now I'm going to press the home button on my iPhone. Settings. And Double the Braille tap. display is keeping up with my iPhone. So I'm going to flick right. App Store. Calendar. And as I'm doing the flicking Double right or tap. left, the Braille display keeps right up. In fact, it says the word calendar right there. So everything is in Braille now as it is on my iPhone. A couple things I want to point out. First, if I want to temporarily suspend this connection with my iPhone, let's say a phone call comes in and uh, I want to jump into my U2 and take some notes, I simply press Z with the backspace and the uh, space key. And that will suspend temporarily my connection with my iPhone. And then I can use all of the features of the U2 at the same time that my iPhone is still running. So that's an excellent feature that uh, I know I'm going to be using a lot as time goes on. Secondly, what's really neat about VoiceOver, and Apple has done a great job with this, is that if I go into notes, for example, or if I go to Internet Explorer, or I go to email on my iPhone, either by using the buttons on the YouTube or flicking on the screen with my iPhone, I can use grade two Braille. So I could write the word the as dots two, three, four, six, hit space, and immediately the shows up on the iPhone as T-H-E. So someone who's learning Braille, maybe who wants to learn grade two Braille, can start with grade one Braille, and as time goes on, just automatically transition into grade two Braille, and that Braille will be converted perfectly on the iPhone end. So that is how you do the connection. Once that connection is made, you actually don't have to worry about doing it again. I also didn't tell you that the pin I used was 0000. zero, zero, zero but you're welcome to use any pin that you're comfortable with as long as you re-enter it on the BrailleSense U2 the same way. Finally, if you have any questions on how to use these two devices together, feel free to go to our website, which is hims-inc.com, or our phone number is 888-520-4467. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and have a good day.